Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon. Spooky's house of jump scares. You got it right, Mr. Kitty. Hang in there. That's exactly what we're doing. We're back. Room uh, 400 onward is what we're looking at here today. Um, 300 to 400 was kind of a little bit of a trip. I can't lie. Um, it, it, it messed with me a little bit till I figured out the pattern for it. But now that we did, I think we were pretty much under control, right? So... At this point onward, what's the worst that could happen? We have, um, allegedly some sort of deer that absorbs you, still waiting. We have some sort of, uh, wall that comes to life, and we have a sound puzzle, so if you don't mind. As I was saying, the worst is, I think, really behind us. Room 400 to whatever we're looking for, 1,750, should be relatively easy at this point. We've gotten through the worst. We got through the scary wooden puppet that just pops out of nowhere, <laughs> much like that spider just did. It's fine, spider. I wasn't even looking at you, so it doesn't even exist to... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I saw you. That's okay. You're, you're just a spider. You can't even do anything about it. These poppers are becoming really... Okay. <laughs> As I was saying, those poppers are becoming... More evident. Threshold of consciousness. Okay, what is this supposed to be? Oh, hey. It's a cute little gad. Well, hello there. Are you lost, little one? Uh, not particularly. I, I think we're doing fine. Do you know the way out, Mr. Cat? Mr. Gato? Oh, you don't You don't turn your back to me as well. Are, are you kind of like the Puppet Man? Don't be like the Puppet Man, alright? He was kind of a dick. Um, I'm honest, not entirely sure what this is. It might be a reference to at this point. Uh, it looks vaguely familiar, but it could be... Uh, I just have no idea. So let's try to go through these rooms. That is not working. That's not working either. This is working. Oh my fucking god. Well, we we talked about in the last specimen um, exam thing that there was something that's gonna mess with your um, consciousness and. Balance is key to keeping your mind free and sane. Balance. Okay. So what you're saying is, maybe. Oh, there's a door right there. Um, I'm running towards the door, but it's not working. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Okay. That really did nothing for us. Balance. It talked about balance. That's nothing to do with that clock over here. This clock got to be here for a reason, right? Balance? No, I'm not balancing. There's a lot of blood over here. Let's just continue going forward. Oh, God. It's not working again. Look, cat. Oh, there, there's the thing behind you. Knowing your shadow can greatly help you. But be ready to see what you'd rather not be. My, my shadow. Oh no, don't tell me my shadow's gonna start playing tricks on me. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Why does this have to happen to me? Alrighty. Talked about balance, right? Just a, a curriculum. Well, I'm at 411 now. That means that's pretty good, right? We, we progress somehow. The song here is pretty good, too. I like the music. Yeah, I don't like that too much, though. Not a big fan of what's happening in those walls, what? Why? You tell me why right now. Is it because I touched the wall? Alright, guys, so we're back here. Room 410, Cat's um, doing his thing again. Let's try to find out what these other rooms hold before we continue going forward. Maybe we need something over to get through that. I'm not entirely sure. But, um... This is kind of weird. How you doing, Cat? The mask you wear serves its purpose well, but be careful not to lose yourself in it. Alright. Well, what do we have here? Put on your mask, be part of something, you are not who you are, follow the group. Become with the others, yeah, okay. Um, well, you talked about mask a mask. Wear, yeah. Well. You talked but about that. You also talked about a, uh, my shadow. My shadow could be playing tricks on me. Oh god, what's that over there? What is this shit? If I, do I die if I touch that? Let's try to avoid it. Two sides of the same coin. Knowing your projections can help you achieve freedom. Alright. What the fuck is this? Okay, I see you pointing at me. What is this, like Kingdom Hearts? You kind of look like a Keyblade of some kind. And it looks like more of a, um, a compass than anything, but okay, well, I mean, it keeps pointing at me, regardless of which. Are you saying that the answer is inside of me? Is it like some sort of deep thing? Don't get deep on me, I'm not good with deep. 
Um, alrighty, well. Let me check that out. We know that this leads into that room where everything was purple, right? So let me talk to the cat one more time. Balance is the key to keeping your mind free and sane. Okay. Well, that's good. Alright, so we talked to the cat every single room. Uh, I have no idea what to look forward to now, but let's hopefully... Yeah, there's the cat again. It's gonna talk to me about my shadow. Knowing your shadow can greatly help you, but be ready to see what you'd rather not be. Alrighty, and this is where it gets fucked up. So, what I'm thinking is, um, I, I felt like I got close to the wall and then I just suddenly died. Maybe the shadow is the key after all. Maybe we just keep going fast, try to avoid the walls, maybe that'll do it? It seems to be... Hello? Sir? That's eerie. We got to this room. Maybe I just have to be fast. Maybe I don't have to touch that? I'm not sure, but we got to the beyond the, the last point that we did last time. Okay. That's fucking super eerie of all time, but that's okay. Just gotta find a door. Don't gotta look at that monster, maybe. And just gotta avoid touching the walls. Maybe that's it. Maybe the key to salvation is just don't touch the wall, Falcon. And we should be fine. <sighs> it's a lot easier said than done, though. I have a tendency to kind of hug the walls just because, uh, number one, I'm kind of a little bit freaked out. Not scared, freaked out. It's a difference. Okay, okay, where's the door? I don't like you, my friend. Don't like your scary face whatsoever. Looks like you need a little bit of dental work, to be honest with you, but that's besides the point. I'm not going to tell you otherwise because you might get a little bit offended and come after me full blown on. Just have a few more rooms, hopefully, to get through. I mean, what's the worst that I could do? Maybe 420? Maybe it'll stop at 420? And by 420, I'm not talking about, you know, toking it up. But just, it'll, this shit, or this fucking nightmare will end at 420. The music is so eerie, man. Oh, please just let it end already. Just let it end. You know, the terrifying part about it is that, um, we have to probably go up to room 500 for the next save, too. So even if I get through this, and we fail afterwards, that we have to go through this shit again, which I still honestly don't even quite understand how to get through this. I'm just kind of avoiding the walls. Maybe that's the problem that plagued me the first time around through here. Just avoiding the walls, perhaps? Just not touching them? But I can't be necessarily sure that's what is getting us through. 425. Don't touch the wall with that face there. I think that's the, the, the key. Don't touch the wall with face there. And maybe keep moving. Maybe it's all time-based. Oh god, how long are you gonna make me do this shit? Why can't there just be like an exit right in front of me too? Why do you have to make me go through these hallways? Oh god, come on. Maybe 4.30? 4.30 is gonna probably be the reckoning point, hopefully. Don't touch the wall. Avoid the wall at all cost. 4.28? Okay. I got through that. There's that one. One more room, probably. Oh my fucking god, of course it would just switch shit up on me. So bad. Okay, just keep walking. Keep walking. The rooms are kind of a little bit 3D, but we could still make it through. Oh, thank the fucking lord. We're out of here. I, at least I think we're out of there. Maybe it's still playing tricks on me. I'm not gonna fuck around with that brain. I'll tell you that much right now. I don't know what to think about that brain, but honestly, I think that avoiding it might be the best way. You know what? At this point, I'm actually happy to see a sound puzzle. Yeah, at this point, that sound puzzle was kind of like a welcome grace. At this point, I'd rather just deal with the whole, um, keeping noise, um, keeping check on the noises to actually get through that room. Because usually the sound puzzle does mean that, you know, you're out of the woods in terms of a specimen probably chasing you. Although, I don't like them back to back. Alright, we got through that one relatively easy, though. 436. Again, remember, there's not going to be a save room. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's not going to be a save room at 450. Because there wasn't at 400, or at 350 anyway. So we have to get through all this shit in one fell swoop. And I don't want to go through that um, creepy flesh wall again. It's the last time I ever want to see that place, to be honest with you. Just because I still don't understand the puzzle. I, I think I was doing right by avoiding the walls, but you know, who's to say? I'm not. Not an expert at this game whatsoever. I'm braving through the game, obviously, but I'm not an expert at the game. 443. You know who's an expert at the game? Triple H, though. He probably sounds like a pretty good expert at the game, I mean, considering he calls himself the game, right? I'm just talking wrestling because you know what? I grew up with wrestling, and... 
takes me back to a really happy place. Which is more than I could say about this place right here. Alrighty, more arcades. We know about those. There's nothing new there. Two more rooms. I mean, if you guys want to throw a curveball at me and give me a save room at 450, I'll gladly accept it, but what are the chances? Of course not. <laughs> Alrighty. This is, um... Foggy is Silent Hill, if I'm right? I could deal with the Silent Hill nurse. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, God. What's weird about it now is that not the entire room is turning. There's still some stuff uh, behind. Like, not all the textures are basically turning all spooky. Which kind of honestly throws me off a little bit. But as long as it's the nurse, I think I could um, outrun her. There's no, like, actual big trick to it. Although I'm not really sure what's after me in terms of that banging. If you notice, the room keeps shaking suddenly. I'm not sure what that's all about. But I'm not going to turn around and look. That's what they want me to do. And I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. 462. Another spooky skeleton corpse over there waiting for me. That's okay. If I don't keep moving, I'm going to wind up like those skeletons. And I don't want to do that. Oh, I still couldn't be populating. It's so weird. It's so eerie. I actually, um... Actually showed this um, Silent Hill portion to my girl, and she was just like tripping balls in the fact of how confusing this layout is. And um, like, basically, she agreed with me. She was like, "Yeah, I could see how this just throws you off completely." Because if you turn around just a little fragment, if you turn around just a little bit of a fragment of an inch, it could just completely throw you off because everything just starts, you know, obviously phasing in and out of existence in the same color. So it just loses your whole perspective of where you're actually headed to. 473. It actually stopped, but I'm still not going to count my chickens before they hatch. I just want to get to room 500, and that'll give me some sort of sanctity over here. You know, at this point, I welcome those really loud pop-ups. Yeah, you too. You absolutely too. Get it all in. Just get it all in, because I actually welcome you at this point. You're a lot easier to deal with the other shit that I'm going through right now. I really miss the the, uh, the early rooms where you just ran away from stuff non-stuff. Now you have to like do all these freaky little puzzles involved between them. But um, obviously that's the game getting more difficult, which makes perfect sense, right? You can't just run away from everything in the game. I make it a little bit too easy, honestly. Oh, for a second there, I thought I was gonna be Wooden Man again, or Puppet Man. I'm gonna call him Scarface. He's the uh, puppet. He's the puppet from uh, Batman. What was the deal with that puppet from Batman, by the way? He's like a mob boss. The puppet was a mob boss. I mean, that's just silly if you ask me. I mean, come on. And then the guy that had his hand up his ass, essentially, well, I mean, he's a puppet, so obviously the hand has to go up somewhere, right, for you to move him. He would just basically lose his shit whenever the Scarface um, puppet wasn't around. It's your dire case right there of split personalities, if I do say so myself. Would you know, honestly, at this rate, we'll probably, I'll probably wind up with a split personality by the time I'm done playing this. Nope. That looks oddly familiar to that um, hallway that never ends. And people told me that um, I was lucky to get out of it last time because apparently that's an instant death. So um, apparently the game might have glitched on me. I, I like to see it another way. Yeah, I like to see it a different way. I like to see it as um, my overwhelming bravery just told that hallway that never ended to fuck itself. And the game obviously was like, yeah, it's Falcon, obviously, why would I not fuck myself off? And it did, and it spat me back out, and I was like, alright, Falcon, go on your way. Nope, we're not gonna play that game, Botanical Man. And that's how that happened, so it wasn't a glitch, I was... Oh, hey, Spooky. Here you are, alive and still here. Yeah, I am. You just keep on going, don't you? I kinda have no choice. Well, the next door has been fixed up for you, so enjoy, and keep moving on, you little fleshy live one. You sound a little disappointed about that. So, that's been fixed for me, right? Yeah. Why does this one say out of order? I, I feel like going through the one that says out of order because this over here has some weird fucking scratches on it. It really worries me. So the next password is cheese. We're going to save it over here. We're going to go on an episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support does mean a lot. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. Spooky's House of Gem Scares. Tune in for, um, I guess 500 or 600. That's probably what we're looking at next. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I will catch you next time.